A. Dennis K. here and my better half, Stephanie. So today's video, we want to talk to you about how you can invest in Belize and use the funds to fund world travels. So how did we get started traveling and experiencing uh, some of the adventures we've gone on? Well, when I first married this guy, he didn't have any ideas about traveling. He loved the USA and just said, well, just travel in the USA. There's lots of things to see. You know, in Michigan, there is amazing. You know, we would go to the lakes. We would go out boating. We would go to the cabin. There's all sorts of fun stuff to do. Uh, I had bigger dreams. I wanted to go see the world. So Someone has to be the dreamer in the relationship. I'm the dreamer. And my role is? Make the dreams come true. There you go. So we're balanced. And so I talked to him about it, and slowly he, it became his dream too. He wanted, he, maybe it was contagious, maybe my excitement uh, rubbed off on him a little bit. And so for our wedding anniversary, we went to France. And we did Paris, I think we did like 11 days back then. And um, that was a long time ago, it was like 20 years ago, and it was a lot different. And that kind of sparked, hmm, so now we've only been to the US and like Florida and Canada and then France. We wanted to get a little bit more out there. Mm -hmm. And then we thought, hmm, we might want to actually move somewhere. And that just about broke his brain for yeah, a second. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought, you know, um, why leave? We, I guess at the time too, right? Because now more people are used to international travel. Yeah, it was a different. Yeah, it was a different life back then, you know? We were raised to, you know, you grow up, you get a job, you get married, you buy a house, you have a dog. And then, uh, you know, you just you just live that life. So to live a different type of life, you know, uh, I think Rolf Potts calls it vagabonding, you know, oh, yeah. traveling, not just as a way to have a vacation now and again, but actually as a, as a way to experience life that was completely foreign to me. Yeah, for sure. And I don't think I even, I didn't dream that it was possible. All these things happen and they're better than the last. And I wouldn't even dream that I could do this. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have dreamed that. When we moved to Belize, we moved to the mainland, and I loved it. We had amazing friends there. It was awesome. But I wouldn't have dreamed that I could live on Ambergris Key because we would go there for vacations, and we would go there to get hot water, to get cable television, to get internet. Wait, wait, get... wait, 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 wait. She says hot water because the house that we lived in <laughs> in the village in Belize didn't have a hot water at the time. So no. we would come out to Ambergris Key to take a hot shower. Yeah, or a hot bath or anything. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. And granted, a lot of the time it was hot, so you did take a shower when you were hot, and then it didn't, you know, the cold water didn't bother you. Sure. sure. But um, if you're sick or you just want a hot bath, you know, air so, conditioning. So let me just kind of back up a little bit, because some people experience world travel uh, on the extreme cheap, right? So you see the backpackers, you see people staying in hostels. They're Asia. Uh, yeah, you, you, they're, they're traveling all the time, but they're they're living on, you know, quarters a day. Mm -hmm. Um there's a talent to that. She's not like she's, <laughs> she, she, she's not like that. Hey, that's not fair. I uh, lived for how long without hot water? Yeah, right. But and then we got a know, suicide head, which yeah. you put the electric directly on the Shower, water yeah. head, okay. and you could. You well, hear like I'm a, just saying. You, you you see you see her right. You see the videos. You see her pictures. <laughs> so she's she's not the kind to uh, to travel the world on a budget, staying in hostels. And, um, you know, eating dirt cheap. Now, there is, uh, there's, a, there's a reason why I'm bringing this up. What? Okay, okay. I'll, go ahead. I'll, I'll listen. No, go ahead. I, the only reason I wouldn't stay in a hostel is because I wouldn't want to, be, like, sleep in a room with other people. We've slept at very cheap hotels and had amazing times. No, right, right. I'm not saying we haven't traveled cheap and we haven't cut back on expenses to experience other things. For sure. Right? Yeah, I'm not such a princess. I'm a little bit she's, of... Oh, she's a total princess. Huh. Got it. She's been to every single Disney around the world. If that's not a Disney princess, I don't know what is. So anyway, the point of my story is, how do we use Belize investments to fund our world travels? First of all, let's get to the, to the first, first and foremost thing is safety. You know, we've been to, I think it's 30, a conservative estimate is 37 countries. And have we ever been in a situation where we felt unsafe? No, the the worst thing I've ever felt unsafe is maybe like Detroit, and that was when I was like in my teenage years. Yeah. So, so the U.S., not right. anywhere else. Right. So the travels that we have done, we've done responsibly, and we've done safely, and we've enjoyed ourselves, and we've never had an issue anywhere that we've traveled. 
So the reason I bring that up is because uh, for some of my clients looking to leave the States, uh, it's no secret that, you know, the news and the TV just pounds into Americans and Canadians just how dangerous the rest of the world is. The 24-hour right. news cycle yeah. that has to have something. And yeah. something's bad is always happening somewhere around the world. Exactly. It's, it's really unfortunate. It. Absolutely. But, they, yeah. you know, it's people shine a spotlight on different things. So, right. But the things I see and the things I see in the news are very different. Yeah, especially uh, when you go to research moving abroad. Right. You hear, and even if you get on the message boards, you know, you're going to hear a million different things. Uh, the Internet is full of information. And guess what? Not all of it is true. Grandparents, parents called and said, what is going on in Paris when we were there? And um, they were like, it looks like Paris is on fire. Turn on the news. And we did. We lived right by Notre Dame. Well, that was before that was on fire. And nothing was happening. It was outside in, you know, 20 miles away in one little area, one little block. There was a car on fire. Yeah. So I was like, it's not Paris is burning down. Mm-hmm. It's a slant. So we've seen American journalism, European journalism, all around the world. It's all different. So you really have to kind of know people, go experience it for yourself, Mm -hmm. and see what you're comfortable with. Because I know he wouldn't send anyone. He feels very protective over Mm -hmm. all of you. And he's very protective over me. So he doesn't want to sell something or send someone somewhere where they'll be in danger Mm -hmm. or they'll be hurt or even uncomfortable or lose money or anything because he'll feel responsible for that. Yeah, absolutely. And he'll lose sleep. Yeah. So that's just the kind of guy he is. Yeah. So um, you can pretty much, I mean, I've been married to him for a long time. You can pretty much trust him because he takes it very seriously. Yeah. So to get back to that and talk about that a little bit, the reason I ask for these Zoom calls with all of my clients is I want to know who you are. You know, are you an adventurous uh, type of person? Are you a take charge, take care of myself? I can live in the woods. I can live in the bush. No problem. Or are you uh, a single woman starting to get up in years uh, that I wouldn't necessarily recommend a certain part of the country to, right? Because I have over the past what, two days, I've had 10 different Zoom calls and each one was different. Uh, there's been uh, mothers with adult daughters moving down. There's been uh, families with two young uh, kids moving down. There's been uh, a woman in her late 60s looking to move down, a couple with no children. And each of them, when I get on a Zoom call, I get a really good feel for uh, what I think would work for them. And then I can suggest different parts of Belize, different parts of Ambergris Key, different price point of, uh, of real estate, condos, homes, land, whatever, that we really feel uh, are going to work and that would make them feel safe and that would give them a good quality of life what their needs are because he can't say this is what I'm selling and Mm -hmm. this is what you have to buy and you have to change to fit this it's like no you have your family maybe your children need school so you need to be close to the school maybe you um, don't want anything to do with anyone and you want your own little paradise way far outside of the town Mm -hmm. there's all sorts of different reasons people move and what they want so he has to find out about you And, and sometimes sometimes I'll give the recommendation that for you personally you shouldn't buy a house or a condo. Uh, you should rent first. And I don't recommend that to everybody because some of you are, are investing for the financial returns, which I can absolutely highly recommend, especially in some parts of Belize. But for some of you, because your short and long-term goals are yeah, quite unsure, I would just suggest you rent. But you invest in vacant land or you invest in a home or condo just for the financial returns. And that leads me back to the purpose of this video today is how to invest in real estate to fund your life in Belize or your world travels. You had a point to this? Yeah. I thought we were just talking to our friends. Yeah. So here's the deal. Here's what I recommend. You know my investment strategy. And to this day, this is how we're able to live here. This is how we're able to uh, take a trip, hopefully in September, October to Germany. This is the way we fund our life. We buy investment properties in Belize. We don't live in those properties. Oftentimes, those properties are vacant land, but uh, we use those properties then and the income we get from them uh, to fund our life, uh, no matter where that happens to be in the world. Okay? So, if you're interested in Belize for the financial return, buy there. What I say is, is invest where the numbers make sense and then go off and do whatever you want with the money. Right? Yeah, because you could buy a property and you could be young. I, we see that here all the time, and then you might not need it for 10 years. But in mm-hmm. 10 years, it's going to be worth a lot more. We see so many people on the island saying, 
I wish I would have bought 10 years ago. Now I can't afford it because the, you know, it's gone up every year. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm glad we bought 10 years ago. Absolutely. So here's the, the quick one minute version. Cause I know we're getting along here. The, the quick one minute version, buy a lot in a desirable area, have a very simple two bedroom, two bath home built on the lot and then deck it out and make it attractive to somebody who would want to rent it for two months a year. And let's say you and your family live in the house for 10 months a year, but for two months, you rent it out on Airbnb. And let's say for those two months, because it's a short-term rental, you can get, let's say, $2,500 a month for it. That's $5,000. Now with $5,000, go on Kayak right now and see where you can go in the world for two months. And the reason we say it's two months is because when you go on a one-week vacation, you can spend a lot of money in seven to 10 days. You got the flight, you got your hotels, you got your food, you're trying to cram everything in in, in seven to 10 days. But what we used to do living in Belize, we would travel to Europe for two months a year. Why? Well, because the flight then per day becomes extremely cheap. Even if we're paying a thousand bucks a person for our flight over 60 days, that's not very much money per day. Then you look at the Airbnbs, right? Yeah. If you were to get an Airbnb for seven nights in Paris, then you're gonna be paying top dollar. You go over a week, they give you a discount. You go over a month, it gets even cheaper. And guess what? You go two months in an Airbnb in Paris and you can negotiate and almost name your price. So imagine doing that Paris this year, uh, Thailand next year, Australia and New Zealand the year after. So again, you have your, your home base in Belize, but then you're able to rent that out for two months and use the money that you get to go and explore the world. And when you're building your house, you just um, build a, a lock closet. So mm. you have your personal things and that's very common there. Um, you know, if you have, I don't know, secret diaries or you things that you diaries? don't, yeah. don't, go, don't go looking for that. It's okay. <laughs> or if you have anything, oh, what? Is that how you make my dreams come true? The secret, secret diaries. Anyways, if you have secrets that you don't want people, or you just have a few things that you don't want people in, you put your things away in your room that you want locked off and they don't have access to it. There you go. Very easy. There you go. So if you want to know how to do that, email me. And if you want, you can buy him a coffee because every time he gets a coffee, he's like, yay, I got a uh, coffee. You know, I'm a, I'm a man of simple pleasures. You know, um, a simple Starbucks coffee just makes my day. And when my clients buy me coffee and request a Zoom call, it makes my day. Well, it just makes him feel appreciated because yeah. he does a lot of work. He's been working from 6 in the morning till 8 at night some days. And... It's a lot. So when he gets to say, hey, look, someone bought me a coffee, and he walks down to Starbucks, he gets a little break to just kind of think about what's going on, think about his next call, and go ahead and get that Starbucks, and then get the caffeine jolt to take him through to the next. And just, I think the appreciation means almost as much as the actual coffee. It does. Because, you know, yeah. to know that people care that you're looking out for them, that, you know, you're trying to find the best fit for them. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks a lot for tuning in today. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, hit us up on the uh, email below and buy me coffee if you want. And let's yeah. set up a Zoom call and we'll be happy to answer any and all questions you have about Belize. Till next time. Take care, guys.